principal tells me last week someone came on campus filming the students and quoting Bible verses at them. This is why they've had to add more security. Well, today parents are making or stepping in and want these children to start off with a great week, leaving positive messages like this rock here and this sign that says it's your world. They just live in it. Plastered on these walls are positive messages from across the world to Magic City Acceptance Academy students. This one from Ohio, reminding them to keep showing up as your authentic selves. Another from Sweden says, we see you. You are loved as you are. All we have to do is reach out and we've got lots of support. Principal Dr. Michael Wilson says support has been pouring in. It comes after Republican governor candidate Tim James featured the staff and students in his political ad, calling the academy a transgender school. Enough of this foolishness. In fact, our LGBTQ population is probably not the majority of who we are here at this school. So him calling us a trans school is absolutely a lie. Wilson says middle and high school age students have seen the ad. It scared them. It's caused us to have to add additional security because we've had some car, uh, carload or two come by and yell at our kids. We had actually somebody trying to come and film our kids last week and quote Bible verses at them. In a WVTM 13 interview last week with anchor Carla Wade, we asked Tim James about the ad. So you don't think necessarily that that ad could be harmful to those children seeing it? I think the harm that those people are doing to those children is so egregious. Wilson says no matter where people stand on the political aisle, he wants them to know this. We are open to all students who need a safe and secure space to learn without all the distractions that come with being bullied. I reached out to Tim James to get a statement from him about this situation, and he did respond to me, um, you know, just a few minutes before this newscast. It reads in part, the principal said that the TV ad scared the children. What should scare mothers and fathers of these children is what the faculty is doing by presenting this ungodly display through the drag show to which the children were subjected. Now, we will have that full statement on our website. That's on WVTM. 13.com. You can read it there. For now, live in Homewood, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.